Uh, testing, testing, one, two, three. Hello everyone, it's been a while. Um, the DLC news definitely hyped me up. That's why I decided to do another stream. This time though, we're gonna practice uh, on Alloy Melania. I don't know if you guys have seen it yet. There's been a couple of people actually defeated it already, but I'm trying to get in the top 10 right now, so I'm just gonna chill. See if I can get phase one uh, perfected today. I've had a couple, uh, I think I died 300 to 400 times already. But uh, let me show you guys what I mean. So she does waterfall straight off the bat. Especially from C Hero. My chat not scrolling. Darn, okay. Let me see if I can fix that. I think that might be better. <laughs> Looks better? Okay, that's good. Oh, level up up, thank you for the 10. Nice spear sir, Melania is getting payback for all the beans you put on her. Yeah, she, she already killed me more times than the original point. I should see her face too. It's crazy. You guys still can't hear me? Alright, let me see if I can do the gain even louder. Or maybe I should just lower the gain volume. Alright, uh, let me know if that's better. But I have been her phase one uh, multiple times before. I just have to really perfect it. I'm trying to go for Hillis. I don't know which move that's from. Oh, I think it's from Secure actually. Uh, 
Okay, this is one of her weird waterfowl moves. Pretty sure it's the original one. Okay. I believe uh, there was another friend of mine that uh, defeated this boss. Name is Blue Hood. You guys should check his channel out. He can he can def uh, defeat this Melania pretty easily. He said uh, there's 13 variations of the waterfall dances that she can do. <laughs> the mod is pretty crazy, right? Now here comes the second phase. And I believe her flower is permanent, so you have to really position them well. And you guys have even seen what they called a horror phase. Oh, I think I was supposed to. I don't know how I dodged that. I've seen Longball did it too, and it's just crazy. Okay, that was quick. So I've only got, I've only really practiced the second phase like maybe 10 times already. But I'm still not sure how to do it. Well, we're, the goal for this stream is just perfecting the first phase. So try to do no hits. I'm really bad at this. Let's start a line court. Thank you for the 15. Heard from peeps here retiring, is that true? I so I did a review with IGN couple uh, days ago and I did tell them that I was thinking about retiring when the DLC came up and I see all these other uh, news reports saying that I'm already retired or stuff like that so to to confirm it I am probably going to retire when the DLC comes out I might do a couple of them when the DLC comes out but I'm like officially I'm, I'm gonna retire Yes. But the DLC should bring a new boss, right? Still not decided on whether I'm going to become like the next Let Me Solo her for Mesmer, but like right now I'm just I just want to play the the deal, upcoming DLC, see what it's like. I'm pretty sure there's going to be a three phase boss. So I don't know how that will work out into the whole soloing thing. Yeah, so I still don't have all of her waterfowl dances variations yet. We're not you guys were not ready for me to leave the arena. It's been two years. You guys should have Melania down already, right? I know there's lots of people that have already like perfected a master Melania. Unless the DLC makes Melania come back somehow. It's a possibility.
but until the DLC comes out, I will definitely still be helping people, so... What, what do you guys think about the DLC trailer? I watched it with my friends on Discord, on my Discord server, and we were pretty stoked about it too. Especially all the armor and the new, like the new weapon system, or the new weapon tiers. I really like the kick. Ah, oh, crap. I should have jumped earlier. DLC even has a secure leveling system. Yeah, I've heard about that. So, so I guess it doesn't really matter what character you have to use. Because the levels will be just... Um, it's just going to be set for whatever... What, uh, it's going to be in the DLC world. Mesmer's even, um, it might be one of those, uh, Offsprings of America, related to Melania Amygdala, it's like their third sibling, so that sounds cool. Mesmer the Impaler, has a spear with snakes. Oh my god, okay, I was too far for that one. How are you not sick of fighting melee yet? I I am a little bit. That's why I'm using this, um... I do some mods. This mod is crazy, but you're crazier. A week ago... I finally did my first ever no hit Melania no mods. I never thought I would be capable of doing it, but you gave me inspiration and it finally happened. Hey, nice, kudos. Yeah, like when you find a boss that you really want to get good at, like it just feels, it just feels really good. It feels so satisfying, right? What is the Discord? Oh, here you go. We have a custom link. I believe this is it right here. I think the Mesmer will be crazier than Melania. It should be, because that's how the DLC usually is. Oh, that was far enough. Uh, I, did, I did a couple of streams before. I know I did the 1000th Melania run, as well as um, some other ones just doing regular Melania solos. After this, uh, after a couple of tries, maybe I'll do just a regular uh, couple of millennia runs.
I really like this mod because the the concept of her helmet breaking, I really like that. Oh, she's doing that weird waterfowl that I hate. So satisfying when you dodge it correctly. There was this one other person that I watched doing this Unalloy Malaya mod. I believe his name is Brian BD. I think he's like, he's the very first one to defeat this mod, and it's just crazy. You guys should check him out too. Like, there's so many chapters to this boss, it's crazy. Oh crap. Ah! There's a, there's a big rock pool in the middle, as well as... There's gonna be like three permanent Scarlet uh, Aeonias that you have to position correctly. Yeah, yeah, Ongbo did a no hit of this. It's insane to watch. I remember he first posted one that got him hit a couple times, and the first comment was like, Ongbo got hit, and then literally days later he just made another one no hit. Oh crap. Oh, okay. But have you guys ordered pre-ordered the uh, DLC already? Like after the trailer, I just went straight to the website. I believe it was down because there were so many people trying to access it. I got the um, the collector's edition with the uh, Mesmer's figurine, like exactly with the Melania one. Oh, Ellie, dude, what's up? I have a good feeling about this one. Oh, spoke too soon. Yeah, she'll either do it instantly or there will be a delay. Oh, I'm 
getting air comboed. Yeah, whoever made this mod, they're a sadist. For sure. Is there anything else you guys are excited about DLC? I think I think I saw Saint Trina or something that mentions her. Ah, keep forgetting. She's way more aggressive. Bigger pots in the yeah, I saw the <laughs> The, the guy throwing the big pot that explodes. I hope we get more pot weapons. I think that'll be pretty fun. If you pester Mr. Miyazaki enough, he will make another DLC. Do you guys think we're gonna get another DLC out of this? It's kinda hard to imagine how the ring's gonna get a second DLC. Cause this one's $40, right? That means it's gonna be like really big. Crap, I'm dead. Or not. Barely survived. Oh, <laughs> I spoke soon again. I'm using the Nagan Naganita. It was recommended to me by one of my mods. It's very effective. I tried using my standard build, but I think it's a bit more complicated than that because you can't stagger her with just one hit sometimes. And jumping in this, uh, jumping with this Melania is it's, it's really hard. It's quite hard to land it. Yeah, I have no time to really move out. How do you find Unalloyed Melania? I believe if you search up um, just Unalloyed Melania, you can either find Brian BD's video or uh, Ongball's video, and I think they have a link down below. Yeah, so I'm just gonna switch to Spears because it's way more. <laughs> I've already lost like so much sanity playing this boss for the first time. It's it's parable, yes. 
I tried that for the first time. I think you have to parry her uh, four times in a row, though. Also, she has a fake parry. She has a fake parry uh, where if you try to attack her during that, she will she will do the stab attack animation. I can show you guys in a second. Oh, okay. I, th I think it might be on Nexus mods. So let me get that buckler. And I'm going to equip the katanas. As you can see, I'm not a, uh, I'm not proficient with the buckler yet. I think we still we still got like four months or three months left for the DLC, right? That's that's more enough time for me to practice. I know I can defeat phase one. It's the phase two that I have trouble with right now, and I imagine that's gonna take at least another another good two months. Yeah, so that's, that's the fake one right there, and if you try attacking her in that state... So that's the real one. Pricing for the DLC. I really no. There's no way this boss is way harder than what Fromsaw could ever make. There's no way. So that's the fake one. As you can see, she parries you right back. I think I did a poll on my YouTube channel the other day asking uh, people like what are you guys most excited about? I think NPCs was on the very bottom at like 1% and I'm just thinking like where, where's the love for the NPCs? I know it's technically part of the lore which was like the second part I think but it may be a little bit sad to see. We, love, we all love Alexander and Patches. Oh crap. Darn it. What do I think about the lion in the DLC? The lion? Oh, you're talking about that that beast thing with like um I think I think it's like a fake lion because it has like multiple people inside it that makes it look like a beast. I think I watched the Zoli or Vati video about it saying it's like some sort of mythological creature. Everything with DLC is just, just a lot. Well, especially that flower arena. 
it's going to be a great PvP spot. So pairing, pairing definitely works, but it's hard to. Talking about NPCs, who do you think we're gonna have for Maiden? Oh, um, I think Melina might come back. I really hope that happens. I, I feel like we should have more Melina lore. I think they got a little bit dirty in the main story. Oh, so I'm really excited for how Mikola is going to be portrayed. Lords of the Fallen? I've heard about the game, but... Uh, I don't know, I don't think it's like my type of game. A friend actually gifted it to me, but I just declined it because I was like, nah. Right now I'm, really, I'm just playing like Helldivers on the side. Helldiver 2, that's been fun. Oh, and uh, there, the there was his friend, and he 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 asked me to play Dark Souls Two with him, and then, like a bastard that he is, he said that he doesn't want to play it anymore because he's apparently quote tired of Souls porn like games, but I won the bet, so now he has to play with me. So I'm trying to finish Dark Souls Two. This Melania also has an Ishii move from Sekiro. I don't know how to pull it off. I think it's I think it's when you spam with attacks too much. My words. I am Melania. And I have never known defeat. I don't know how I dodged that. I love that move. That wasn't supposed to hit me. Oh, right, 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 right. He's supposed to do that. Oh, second Alonia. Oh, 
Oh, oh, okay. I now understand why they did that. <laughs> why they put mushrooms on every single time. Show the build. This is this is a level 713. So there's really nothing special about it. It's always the wall, guys. Ah, not greedy there. I am Alenia, blade of Nicola. What do you guys think? Should I keep just practicing this? Or maybe just do some regular Melanias for people? The traffic has actually gotten a little bit busier, probably because of the DLC trailer. I know I said this is a chill stream, but I'm, I'm focused so much on this Maleniac. Can't really look at chat sometimes. Ah. Oh my god. Pine, get out of here. Aren't you, aren't you supposed to play Terraria or something? Alright, I'm going to go and load up regular Elden Ring. How many hours do you guys have on Elden Ring right now? I have like 1,200 right now. There was this one person in front of me. I think they have close to 10,000. They were going for world record or something. I'm seeing an average of like 200 up to like 800. Anything over a thousand, that's how you know they're locked in. I'm gonna use my 125. I don't really use my main 181 anymore because uh, people usually can't sub with me now. Oh, uh, here's my stats in case you guys want to know. My equipment. Well, that was fast. My favorite boss, not including Melania. Mm, Godfrey. He's really fun. All that jumping. I, I like bosses where it's satisfying to dodge whatever move that they do. So for Melania, the waterfowl. For Horolu, the stomps.
This Nightbot? Uh, I don't know. I haven't seen the Nightbots at all yet, actually. Where can people tag you for fan art? Um, in, I'm really active in my Discord server, so if you join it, you can just go in there. We have a, like a hashtag art section. You can just ping me there, whatever. Here's my Discord server. If you guys want to join? There's supposed to be a night pop. My admin, uh, Valixen, is not doing his job correctly. <laughs> have ever found a fake LME solar? Funny thing about that, I've I've seen many names that kind of copy it. But I haven't seen one that mirrors my exact build until like a couple of weeks ago. So that was really surprising. What was the clone like? He 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 got hit a couple times, not gonna lie, but he did the job. So I was very proud. I met like other uh, other versions like let me try first or I will try or let me solo. with these errors. Uh, I play on PC DAO. Steam is down for maintenance. Shouldn't be like that if I'm still being summoned like this. Yes, I am on keyboard and mouse. Hey! There, there's no training that you can do for the DLC if, if your level is going to be like Sekiro's, right? Plus, I want to try those new weapons that I've seen in the trailer. I've actually played Liza P. That was really fun. But the parry, parry timings, I couldn't get it down for a while. Oh my god. After playing that mod, she feels so slow. I actually feel so awkward. My muscle memory. Wait, they have... Oh, Steam... Wait, you can play Elden Ring on Steam Deck? I don't know what to play.
Yeah, I'm getting rusty. Cause I've been practicing so much. Like, she seems so slow, right? And you, you just like, oh, she's gonna try to do something. But she's not. Looking forward to the quad god skin boss fight in DLC. Just imagine. Izaki is thinking like, hmm. I feel like playing a joke on the player base. BHB and LMSH team up? BHB? What's that? The Sleep Lake in DLC. Uh, remember that, that lion boss they showed in the trailer? It was breathing like some kind of black mist. I thought it was um, Death Blight, but apparently uh, some of my friends said it's not. Like the color's a bit off. Yo, Scumnut, what's up? You you missed the um, the unalloyed Melania training. I heard from some people you were also doing it. Is that true? Have you been training that at all? I haven't even tried the mod yet. Oh, you should try it. With your patience, I'm sure you can do it no matter what. Really surprising to me though when um, after the IGN interview and they put the uh, interview up on their website and on Twitter, like two days later, you get like, oh crap, you get like these other articles saying, oh let me sell her already retired, he's he's uh he's dead or something. And I'm just like you're like wait where did they get this information from? Will we see you in the next FromSoft games? I mean, I'll definitely play the DLC. That's gonna be at least... Um, at least 40 hours according to Miyazaki, but we know he's a humble guy, so... It's probably gonna be close to like 60 or maybe even 80. And I know the PvP, PvP part of the community is gonna have a field day with it. As, well, as Actually, everyone, so... You get a lot more content than we bargained for.
the increase in player count. Ah yes, more people to kill and evade. For me though, I think it's just like seeing everyone like come back and be all happy. You can see like fan art and lore speculation videos, more cosplays, just stuff like that. Makes me happy. about to enter our second golden age of Elden Ring. Make sure you guys savor it. The second golden age. I don't know if I will master the next demigod. Like obviously, obviously everything that they've shown us so far is pointing that Mesmer is going to be like the Gale of Slave Knight Gale of Elden Ring, even with the, the statue and figurine and all. But what if there's like another boss that they haven't shown us, and he's actually stronger? Like, I think that would be pretty fun. Pecora's playthrough. Pecora is is that the carrot, the uh, the bunny VTuber? I think I've seen a little bit of that. How often do I stream? All oh, like once in a blue moon. It's actually rare that you caught me in this one. I think the last stream I did was like months and months ago. Have I seen uh, Koseki Bijo? Yeah, I haven't chatted to her like in the stream. Do I apparently display my Bandai gift box in the living room? It's not in the living room, it's in my own room. I have um, the sword up on the wall. Very proudly displaying it. Sometimes take it out, swing it. I also have that uh, that rivers of blood replica in my on my table to the right. Like whoever made it is really really good at it. Like it's it's a work of art, truly. Really. Billu, can you defeat two Melania at the same time? I've actually joked about it, saying. What, it, it might be possible. I will probably have to distance it like uh, Godskin Duo or Ornstein and Smoke. But that might be a little bit boring, so you have to like face them twice almost at the same time. But if one does Waterfall Dance and the other one's still trying to attack me, I don't, I don't think that's going to work out too well for me. Dev said that the DLC will have bosses on par with Melania. Do you think you'll be mastering those two? Maybe shift over to them? I mean, as the DLC comes out, 
definitely people will be shifting over to DLC world instead of the the main lands between. I will probably most definitely stop helping with Melania and just just play the DLC and see what it's like. So we'll have to see. Do I usually change katanas from time to time? Um, it's not that rare, but sometimes I just change it. I would like to change the Rivers of Blood to the same one as my, my Rice one. Or sometimes I use two Rivers of Blood. Sometimes I use the Moon Veil. It's a really nice uh, stagger weapon. You actually believe that Mikolo will be the Slave Knight Gale of the DLC, considering that Slave Knight was not shown to us in the trailers for Dark Souls 3 Ring City. So you're saying we're gonna have to. Mikolo's gonna be like a surprise boss at the end. And we're gonna have to fight him. I don't see how that's gonna play out. Like. In the trailer, it showed him with his. his, um. everlasting, like, childlike form, right? But. When we see Mikola in Moog's palace, he's like, he looks like a giant skeleton. So which one will be fighting then? For GTA 6. I saw the trailer for that. I never played any GTA games before. I think I'm gonna try that one though. Mesper seems like a really fun boss. I hope we can parry him too. Imagine all the insane mods gonna come out from him too. I've also been playing a bit of Tekken recently. What do you guys usually play other than Elder Ring? Yes, Falixen, I know you played Terraria. I get like 50 pings a day when you get on, on when you get on Steam and you load the modder. Minecraft, Monster Hunter. It's interesting it's interesting to see like what other people play when they're also like a Souls veteran. Armor Core 6. I mean, that makes sense. Warframe? I have no idea what that is. I think I've heard of it though. Sekiro? Yeah. Tarkov? Last Epoch? Sonic games, Fort Fortnite. Very diverse. Overwatch, so sad. Yeah, I used to play Overwatch a lot. 
and then I quit recently because I, think it's, I feel like it changed too much. Race that to see, because I've been playing it for like 10 years. Dark Souls 3. Yeah. I, I, I want to get back to that actually one day. Dark Souls 3 PvP was peak, in my opinion. Like, I know the network, the netcode was bad, but you could actually get parries and backstabs easily. That's what did it for me. Destiny 2, League, League of Legends, Lies of P, yeah. I feel like an alloy is going to really mess me up simply because I'm so used to normal Linea. Yeah, that's how it was at first. Before I died like 400 times and my mouse memory gradually like, you know, moved on to the, the an alloy mod. It's so bad. I uh, I tried a little bit of Terraria with one of my mods, and I don't know why we quit. Actually, we just we just couldn't get into it. I've tried some finals. It's pretty fun. But if we're talking like FPS games, I I used to play a lot of Call of Duty and uh, Battlefield. I think it's kind of oversaturated though at this point. Game, it wasn't too hard. I was having fun, okay? I was just thinking about like playing it like Minecraft. I might, str yeah, I might, I might stream the full DLC. You know, just do like a silent walkthrough maybe. Really enjoy the game. Candy Crush is fire, you know, that's that's truth right there. I used to play that game on my phone all the time. Are there people on my community that need help on PS5? Oh yeah, lots of people. Although I can't really help them because I'm only on PC. My Discord bot isn't working, but here is the server if you guys ever want to check it out. Old Divers is fun to getting old. That's true. But I heard they're going to add some new things to it, like vehicles and mechs. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm only like level 10 right now. Yes, I have tried Liza P. I finished it. I haven't tried the other ending where you have to fight the, the puppet. I take a break for it, uh, break from it for a bit. I'm very excited for Shadow of the Earth Tree. I was watching it on my server with uh, with all my friends. We saw we saw one of those armor sets that looked like Havel. You know, it was pretty cool. Any other social media? I have a Twitter. Oh, she's. She's she's doing something. Whoa. Okay. What is happening? 
Oh my god. What is happening here? You guys saw that, right? <laughs> Melania, the lag lord. I really am getting washed. That's a skill issue right there. How many hours do I think? Oh, so let's do the math, right? Average around like 1,200 hours. Uh, let's say I think I took like 80-ish hours to get through my first playthrough. So more or less like a thousand, I guess, maybe more. Thousand not hundred. Uh, there is no password actually. I mean, I have a group password. See? Alright, if I don't get summoned within like the next, let's say, two minutes, I'm gonna switch on over to an, uh, an alloy melee again. I'm running out of time. I should have enough, but it was so much, it was so painful when I was studying her phase one. What's my Twitter? Uh, let's see. Oh, he already got it for me. Do I have an Instagram? I think I made one, but I haven't used it at all. Same for Facebook. <laughs> so um, I'm only active on Twitter, Discord, and YouTube. I do have a Twitch, but I never stream on that either. I just use it to look at other streamers. How many millennials do you do you per day? At, like average? Uh, some days I don't do any some days I do like like 30 so I don't, I don't really know what the average is these days I just like I get on I'm like oh I feel like solely Melania today then I just get on 
Oh yeah, I have a TikTok too. I'm also semi-active on that. But YouTube and my Discord channel is the best way to like uh, find me. My day was good. Thank you for asking. Like we were all in that that hollowing state because DLC has not been announced for over two years, right? Like I think it was after year one of not being announced. We got like one picture and it said Shadow of the Earth Tree DLC has been announced. And everyone lost their mind. And then for another year, you get nothing. <laughs> I got someone. Alright, so after this, I'm gonna go back to Unalloyed. Hey! Oh, thank you, Mark. Appreciate that. It's always funny when people call me either Pot, Jarman, LMSH, Mr. Solo. I think I've been called Mr. Solo the most. Or Solo Her. What are you guys usually doing on Elder Ring nowadays? Because you guys probably explore everything, right? I mean, I'm out here either helping people with other bosses, trying to make a new playthrough maybe, or doing the modern Millennium runs. What are you guys up to? You just got the game? Well, welcome. Should give you at least at least 200 hours worth of content. <coughs> the convergence mod plater. I think I've heard about that. It changes like every enemy as well. Rune level one run with board, board and stick. Like like one of those fighting game board and sticks. Raku from Strong Left Frontier, but I've watched that anime. It's so fun. I really like the main character too. I think he reminds me more of Kirito though. If he was maybe done more right.
80 hours for my first playthrough. Do I have footage of my first Mulaney kill anywhere? I don't have the very first one, but I have like very early versions of me trying to perfect Melania. Okay, let me switch over to my modded version. On the knuckles. Oh my, that meme was it's like an ancient relic now. Uh, Ong Bo, yeah. The, the crazy Korean player who perfects like every single hard boss you can possibly imagine. Longer combo strings? Nah, she's she's crazier than that. Real ass waterfowl. <laughs> I should have died there, but I didn't. Hyper-aggressive, longer combo strings, 13 different waterfowl uh, variations that she can do. Oh crap, she baited me again. I hate that one. Still don't know how to do that. Yeah, clean rock grab, right? I had a discussion with my friends the other day, like, lore-wise, that's not accurate, right? They said, no, 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 her, her soldiers have rock, uh, have a, blah, the grab attack animations. They have spears. So, why would a Melania be also skillful in that? 
Oh. Had a brain fart there. <clears throat> oh, yeah, the bow, too. Isn't that. That's kind of funny. But after like 200 deaths, it's not funny anymore. Me surviving with one HP left. sound like scum sometimes there's no way no way you're saying that <clears throat> I think scum that actually has a, a deeper voice than me just throw a frost pot I don't think it works on this one yet. she has like hyper armor all the time and like one wrong move can just get you killed is just insane. Almost made it. The visuals are amazing. The feeling of beating her like this must be amazing. I mean, Golden Melania, something else, right? But getting killed by her 200, 300 plus times. I know one of my mods also are trying this mod, and I think he died a total of, what was it, 1,000 to 2,000 times. Sometimes you can just tell his sanity is going away. Oh, I thought, I thought I bugged her out or something. <laughs> she was just standing there. The dead eye stare. Oh, I'm so lucky. I'm 
Ah. That was bad. Stopped her toe. <laughs> Gotta act tough though. Ah. It's just, it's just, it's just sometimes frustrating. Because you know you could have just uh, dodged it perfectly. I'm, I'm imagining this is how Ong Ball drains, right? Just fighting the same boss hundreds of times. Similar mod for Radon. I believe there's a like a prime Radon mod somewhere out there. Go. Shouldn't have done that. My words. I am a Oh my god, I don't know how I didn't die. Don't give up. Thank you. Thank you for the kind words. Oh, she's doing flips. God, please roll. I I roll. I swear I rolled. Is there a reason why I'm not using the katana? Yes, because this version of Melania is really strong, against, or it's really the katanas are weak against this Melania, right? They have shorter reach. It has a really long wind-up animation. Like, if you're not fast enough, you're gonna get caught like that. Ooh, nice. I'm dead. Oh. Oh, be traded. <laughs> broken boss, broken build. Yep. If she's gonna be unfair, you can just pull stuff right up our ass. But it is beatable. It's definitely beatable. It's just hard. I think that's one of those uh, Easter strings. Get baited again into being grabbed. Oh, my God, I don't know how I live. What? Darn. Okay. But can you, can you guys tell that I'm I'm somewhat getting better at it? Because that's that's the goal, you know. We're trying to perfect phase one. I did it. 
I think I did twice hitless before for phase one. It's just the waterfall dances that get me. I'm dead. Yes, the second phase does exist. I can actually, there's a statue outside. If you manage to defeat phase one, you can turn it on so you can practice it. I'm also memory betrayed you. Truer words than ever been spoken. That might be why. Yeah, even with this version, her lifesteal... Since, since her lifesteal is still there, the mod maker basically wants you to do a hitless. Alright. Alright, fine. Then I will make this count for you. I will get to phase two. She fun. Imagine if this was the actual Millennium fight we got. Storm, what's up? Oh crap. Ah, crap. I couldn't time it right. No, we just we just gotta keep on fighting. <laughs> we played the deal for that one. Maybe look. collected I am after I die oh, you have no idea like off stream sometimes like in the early versions of this fight 
the only reason I can stream this right now is because I've actually somewhat, somewhat mastered it. But I was molding. It's okay to mold, you just gotta, you just gotta keep on trying. Oh my goodness. You guys thought Melania was already somewhat unfair. We do have a Discord channel, so if you guys want to check it out, I'm in there a lot. You can ping me whenever. That would have almost gotten me. So you have to do it a little bit later. Gotcha. Whew. Okay. Will I upload a video when I beat her? Yeah, probably. I I really want to try a hitless, um, hitless front of this. But that's going to take a long time from now, so... Oh my god, I'm out of stamina. Okay, that's 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 very new. Yeah, this is all this is all new stuff to me. <laughs> Yo, you said it. You said it. Tag. What is even happening right now? I watched Angwa's video like ten times, right? And I'm like, oh, okay, that doesn't seem too bad. And I was like, when you play it, you're like, what is happening right now? Okay, you guys saw that? That was pretty clean. Oh. Why do I always say these things? Oh, 
Wait, it's only halfway. We're making progress. Oh, I can't even get close to her. Ah, darn, that's. Then she's waterfowl again after that. Okay, and and then her clones do waterfowls too. So you have to dodge two waterfowls at the same time. So I think what you have to do is just kind of uh, line them up so you only have to dodge once for both. And I'm already dead. What is my health right now? 21, okay. Oh, and, and she's chasing you too, by the way. So you don't really get a time to really save your... catch your breath. She's gonna run to you any time now. Especially during phase 2. You don't get any chance to really heal. Oh, there, there it is. The Ishii move. Ouch. Blue Hood, what's up? Is he in this, is he in this stream? The lab at me. She did it again. I don't know what that move is from. But she rarely does it. <laughs> she sidestep, bruh. She did it again! Wait, why is she doing that so much? It's supposed to be rare. Oh my god, I had no stamina. I'm dead. Yeah, welcome to the expanded moves at DLC. <laughs> Unfortunate. But yeah, the mod is quote fun, right? You just have to get used to it and once you get the hang of it, then it becomes like I guess a dance. So it's all about memorization and quick reaction speed because it is RNG based as well. 
but regarding that I think I'm gonna end the stream for today it's been fun it's nice coming back and streaming even though <clears throat> don't get me wrong I'm not, I'm not really a streamer type so when I whenever I do a stream I'm like okay I can do this and you know when I do it it's so fun so I love chatting with you guys and seeing the community like getting very lively again because of the DLC just happy to see that So, thank you for watching, and I'll try to stream more if I can, maybe make some more videos, I'm trying to get more content ideas, so, I'll see you guys next time. Hey! See ya.